Hello my fellow developers, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a crouch system, plain, simple and quick. So let's start with the coding. We're going to open our BP third person character. And before we actually start programming, we're going to go ahead on the components tab, select the BP third person character. And on the details tab, we're going to search for crouch. And we're going to check this box that it says can crouch. If you don't check this box, it's never going to work. Now we can start with the program. I'm going to go ahead and call the any key event. I'm going to go to the details tab, click here and press C. So this action is only going to execute whenever I press C. We're going to get the press execution node, search for the macro flip flop. And with the A, we're going to go ahead and search for crouch. And for the V, we're going to go ahead and search for on crouch. And that's pretty much all the programming we need. We're going to move on onto the blend space. So we're going to go ahead and open our content browser. Here I already have some animations. We're not going to use all of them, but I'll have them linked down in the description as an FVX file. So we're going to right click on the content browser, go into animation, go into the legacy and blend space 1D for the SK mannequin. We're going to name it BS underscore crouch and we're going to open it. So in this case, this blend space is only one direction. So we're just going to need the speed. If you were looking for an eight direction crouching system, this might not be the best video for you. We can leave the minimum axis on zero and the maximum on 100. We're going to check snap to grid. And now I'm just going to go ahead and bring the idle animations that I have and the crouch walking forward. And this is how the blend space is going to be working. Zero idle, 100 walking. Now we're going to open or animation blueprint. First, we're going to want to add some things to the event graph. If you don't know how to get there, just double click event graph. We're going to go to the event blueprint update animation. And on the sequence, the last 10 two after the is falling, we're going to go ahead and graph the movement component, control C and control V. We're going to get the return node from the movement component. And we're going to look for the function is crouching. Make sure that is the one on their AI component snap movement. Now the return value, we're going to promote it to a variable and we're going to call it crouching. We're going to connect the execution to the set of the is falling. Now we can go ahead and go into the anim graph. If you don't know how to get here, just double click here, anim graph. This would be our default default setting. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is create a new state machine, which we're going to call crouch and we're going to open it here. We're going to go ahead and drag a node at a state. We're going to name it crouching and let's open the state. And here we're just going to open our content drawer and get the BS crouch here. We're going to connect the animation output onto the result. And for the speed, we're going to go into the variables under ground speed. You should have all these variables if you're using the default mannequin from Unreal Engine. Now we're going to go back to the anim graph up here. We're going to graph the crouch state machine, bring it down, get the output and search for the function blend poses by ball. The crouch, we're going to want it on the true. The main states, we're going to move it to the false. And then the animation pose output, it's going to go into the slot default slot. Then for the active value, we're going to go ahead and graph the crouching variable and plug it in there. And now we compile. This should be ready for testing. We go back to the level third person, hit play. And now if I press C, as you can see, it crouches. And now like here, we can pass through here. So I press C and now we're able to go under it. I have the capsule not hidden in game to show you how it actually works the collision. But as you can see, the character doesn't quite match the capsule collision. So we're going to fix that. Let's go ahead and open our BP third person character. Under the components tab, select the character movement. And on the details tab, search for crouch. Here on the crouch half height, instead of 40, let's do something like 65. Now let's compile, go back to the level third person, hit play. And now if we go ahead and try to go under the bridge, as you can see, the capsule still got smaller, but now if we move, it matches with the animation of the character. Okay, and that would be it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a thing or two about game development. I'll see you in the next one.